Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and in today's video, I'm going to do two things. Thing number one will be a quick, just a minute on why I think AI tools that generate text, images, and videos are going to enhance the work of creators rather than replace the work of creators. And thing number two is I'm going to show you how Notion is integrating GPT-3, which is the text generation tool into Notion, and it's going to help people do work better, I think. And I'll, I'll show you how I'm using it to try to make my YouTube channel better as well. Okay, so my quick minute or so on where AI tools are today and where I think they are going for creatives. I think in general, we shouldn't be afraid of these tools. I think we should use these tools to enhance the work that we have. I'm going to show you right now in this demo how Notion lets me kind of brainstorm ideas and get started when I have a writer's block and don't really know what to do. It helps me create something that I can work off of that I wouldn't have otherwise. So instead of starting at like a blank page, I can look at a like example script and be like, oh, this is an interesting way to do it. Um, I'm gonna change all this stuff, I'm gonna move it around. And it's much easier for me to edit something that already exists, even if it's bad, rather than create something brand new from scratch. So I think that's really useful. And I think you see this with people, people doing it with the image generation stuff. They like type out an idea that they have, they look at like this array of images that the AI comes back with, and then they work off one of those to create something of their own. Like it's just, it's a brainstorming tool. And I know the argument that, any, that people are already typing into the comments is, well, that's what it is today, but in five years, it's gonna be so good that you're not gonna need to write your scripts or you're not even gonna need to deliver your scripts because you, there'll be a video generation tool that'll do it all for you. And okay, maybe, but I think that there is something, and this is where I might be a little old fashioned, but I think that it is fundamentally important and interesting uh, when it comes to art is the human element I think is important. Like, I think that you can have an AI generate something that looks beautiful or reads really well, but I don't think that it's going to have the impact of an actual human doing it. And I just think there's something about watching humans talk about things and care about things and think about things um, because you can empathize with them in a way that you can't with a computer. So that might be old fashioned, but I truly do believe it. And yeah, let's get into the demo and I'll show you practically how this is working for me today in Notion. Okay, so this might be as meta as we ever get on this channel, but let's go ahead and use this new Notion AI and GPT-3 feature to do some of the stuff that I would normally do for this video. Um, right, so I need to create a video title, need to make an intro, maybe outline the video, and maybe turn it into like a blog post if I wanted kind of more text here. And this is gonna let me show you four of the things you can do uh, with Notion AI. Um, so video titles, I freaking hate video titles. <laughs> I hate making them, I'm not good at them. Um, but with Notion AI, uh, which again, I should mention up front is currently an alpha, not everybody has access to it, but you can sign up. I'll try to put a link in the description for that and you can get into the alpha. Hopefully it took about a, like a month for me to get my invite. Um, so I don't know what the timelines are. But anyway, once you have it, uh, let's go down here and go to brainstorm ideas. And so what do you wanna brainstorm ideas for? So let's do YouTube. Uh, video titles about Notion AI and GPT-3. Let's generate and let's see what we get. So um, the benefits of Notion AI and GPT-3 for businesses. Okay, that's decent. Um, GPT-3 and Notion AI, how to streamline your workflows with automation. Okay, these are decent. None of these really stand out to me. So let me just try again. I can adjust my prompt if I want, but let's just rewrite them. And so every time it's gonna give you unique ones, and these are very much in the style of what you see on YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna to try to generate some of these and I will use one of them as the video title for this. Um, but again, even if these aren't perfect, you can take one and then tweak it to your liking, um, which again, kind of gets along to what I was talking about earlier with, it can be a, a prompt to start and then you make it your own thing. Um, but video titles, easy to brainstorm with Notion AI. Um, what about an intro? Uh, so let's go ahead and bring it up again. And this time I'm just gonna type. I'm not gonna use any of the like pre-built like things. Um, we're gonna do a YouTube video intro about Notion AI and GPT-3. Let's see what it generates. So there we go. It's doing its thing. We're gonna keep that. And let's just see if it makes any sense. In this video, we will explore the revolutionary technologies of Notion AI and GPT-3 and how they are impacting the world. We'll discuss the potential applications of these technologies and the implications they have for the future of artificial intelligence. We'll also look at how these technologies have already, are already being used in various industries and the potential benefits they can bring. Finally, we'll take a look at the current state of the technology and what the future holds. 
it's not exactly what I would say, but it's really not bad, right? Like it gives you, it sets things up, it kind of draws your attention and it goes over what you're going to talk about in that video. It's really not that bad. So again, as a prompt to like get you going, I think that's really, really useful. So video intro, uh, possible. Now let's do an outline. So I didn't do this for this video. I'm just kind of like shooting from the hip on here, but let's go down here and there's some things here, but there's a whole bunch of lists or a whole bunch of items here you can use. Let's do an outline. So let me write out what I want the outline for the video to be. Okay, so I've got a prompt here, tutorial for using Notion AI and GPT-3 and how this will impact creative work in the future. So let's generate an outline and see, uh, see what it does for us. So, okay, it's doing its thing, doing its thing. And here's an outline. So an intro, what is Notion AI? What is GPT-3? The benefits of using Notion AI and GPT-3. So improved accuracy, improved efficiency. Don't really know what that means. Applications, automation, potential impact, increased productivity, decreased cost, all upside, right? <laughs> um, but this is kind of uninspiring. So let me try it again. So let's try it again and just rewrite uh, the exact same thing. And again, you're gonna kind of see uh, the difference without me changing my prompt at all. It gave me something different and I actually like this one better. So intro, so what's, what is it? Overview of the impact. Okay, that's kind of just rewording my exact prompt. But then challenges, adoption and cost, data privacy and security, benefits, improved creativity, productivity and reduced human error, uh, but a much improved AI error. Um, but anyway, this is a totally reasonable outline and is something that I could build off of. I could add some things, remove things I don't think are relevant, move them around, like all that stuff. But like this is a good kick towards, um, you know, getting something on the page, something you can work off of rather than staring at the blank at the blank page and not knowing what to do. So that's pretty cool. So using it for generating outlines that you can kind of use to um, actually make a better outline <laughs> is pretty solid. And then this last one is just kind of kind of wild to me. So let's say instead of a video, I want to do like a whole blog post about this. So let's go over here. Let's do a blog post. Um, uh, how I think Notion AI and GPT-3 will revolutionize creative writing. I don't actually believe this necessarily, but um, let's just see what it says. Now, we are having it speak very highly of itself, so I think it'll be um, pretty good here. Um, but we've got an intro. Uh, there we go. What is Notion AI? What is GPT-3? You can kind of see a trend. Um, how do these technologies revolutionize creative writing? Let's see what it says, actually. Notion AI and GPT-3 have the potential to revolutionize creative writing by making it faster and easier. Uh, it will help writers to create more effective and engaging writing quickly and easily. And GPT-3 will help writers to generate entire stories and poems in minutes. This could lead to more creative and ima imaginative writing, as well as increased productivity. It all technically makes sense. <laughs> all of it, 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 that's actually pretty decent. Um, again, not exactly what I would say, not exactly how I would say it, but if you want something to kind of, it's kind of like that, that idea of like, I, like there's no bad, there's no bad ideas in a brainstorming session. Like just having something on the page here is easier to edit, easier to delete and rewrite than it is to just be staring at a blank page and having to write something. Um, so I think that's kind of rad. So I don't think I'm going to use it for like this sort of thing, but like brainstorming video titles, um, trying to think of interesting ways to in intro something, outlining things. Like here's my thoughts just in like, I'm just going to put it in a sentence and then I want to outline it. This is all pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully this gives you an idea for what's possible. Um, again, there's lots more uh, you can do here. So um, you can write, you can generate poems, press releases, meeting agendas. Like um, let's just do a meeting agenda, right? Um, uh, team weekly meeting. This one, I have no idea what it's going to do. This wasn't part of the plan. Um, discuss the pro uh, progress of current projects, review open tickets and current projects, plan upcoming, address questions and issues. I mean, this is a, this is a classic meeting outline. So yeah, tons of stuff here. Um, even if you don't do YouTube, I think there's things here that are useful. The brainstorming thing, especially I think is really nice. But yeah, that's it for this quick intro to Notion AI. Hope this was interesting and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.